the final attempt to do my Jenny Jones zombie walker makeup from The Walking Dead. Um, I've tried this <laughs> two other times and it has not worked. Um, I tried it with the wax um, scar tissue um, thing, effects thing, and I tried it with latex. Then I bought a foam latex piece that was not working either. So this is the final attempt just with normal makeup. Um, and because this is for Halloween, the stakes are not high. For me, I feel like cosplay is just a step above like Halloween. Um, there's more effort, especially when you're doing it at a convention. That's my opinion for myself. Um, I like to do something a little bit more elevated, but since this is for Halloween, I'm just doing chill, regular makeup. So let's go. Let's see how this is going to go. Halloween is tomorrow. If this makeup does not work, we're going to do Barbie, President Barbie again. So I have a costume and Jenny will just have to wait until like maybe camp. Maybe I'll go one day for camp or um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Jenny is not going to go to waste. So let's go. Okay, we're gonna start out with this super light foundation that I got. Um, it's Maybelline Fit Me in the color Coconut. So that's like a couple of shades lighter than my own complexion. So we're gonna try and do, um, so I'm gonna layer this on and then um, mix in some yellow. I'm gonna try and just do the like the contour. Um, she has like kind of sunken in eyes, so that's what I'm trying to do. Trying to get that effect. I don't have any other makeup on my face. And then I'm also going to put some yellow in here as well. I'm just following the natural kind of <laughs> the natural bags that I have <laughs> in my face uh, under my eyes. So I'm gonna go back in with my foundation just to give it a little, just to give my face a base. Um, I should have done that before. But, um, just to do it, just a base. Um, it's gonna get covered up with the makeup anyway but okay now I'm taking the yellow and this Mayron bruised makeup I'm putting it on the back of the sponge Okay, we're gonna go in with some purpley dark purple. Let's see. So this is 
just uh, L'Oreal Paris. Um, yeah. And a dark purple. There we go. Oh, it's looking black. See that? is deceptively simple um so yeah i'm gonna go back i'm gonna go over this bottom part with some black and some yellow and my foundation Some black around my eyes. 
Williams. Connects to my eyebrows. Now I'm going to get some more purple and put it in my eyes, not this purple that I have been using, a different purple. So I have this Kiss, Kiss, Profesh, Kiss New York Professional Luxury Intense Lip Liner in the color Dark Plum Purple. And this is what I have been using to get when I do do zombie makeup, I usually use this. So we are just gonna draw that line there and blend it out. Okay, so I put the marks around my mouth and they won't blend out because of the liquid latex. They won't blend out because of the liquid latex and um, when I'm rubbing it, I'm rubbing the liquid latex off. So we know better than to do that tomorrow. Uh, actually, I'm gonna put some on my finger. Okay, so I'm gonna go get the wig and the contacts. I'm not gonna do anything else to the makeup. I just added some green along the borders, a little bit more black in my eyes, some black around my lips. Um, the makeup is deceptively simple. When I do a little comparison, it looks similar, but So let's go get the wig and the contacts. I gotta wash my hands too before I put in the contacts. The crazier it is, the better. Okay, I decided to just put on the whole nightgown situation since since it's very simple. Um, I'm not gonna put on the chest prosthetic just because 
Uh, I don't feel like it. <sighs> this is just a makeup test. Um, and we're at the contacts here. Hopefully this brings it all together. I always start tearing up. Get this hair out of the way. Did that bring it all together? <laughs> I think it did. The red contacts are definitely creepy. Um, yeah. Okay, okay. black on my lip trying to get it on my teeth but that's the look that she has okay y'all so I am happy with the results especially for Halloween I do want to fill in the liquid latex at the bottom so that it's not you know clearly defined there Uh, this is the look that we're going for Halloween. I'm gonna add, you know, the scar and some nasty fingernails and and whatnot. But this is pretty much what it's gonna look like. I'll put in some pictures if I remember from Halloween. Uh, but yeah, thank y'all so much for watching, coming along with the distressing process for this gown and all that. But yeah, see you on the next video. Bye.